Hey guys, this is Scully Wally with yet another guide. This time we are going to talk about all the untamable pets and how to be able to tame them. I did one separately, the Pantara, on the guide I did yesterday. So the guide before this one is because that is actually a special case. So all the ones I am going to talk about is just a one time obtaining the item and then you're going to be able to tame them always the pantara is not like that for the pantara you're going to need to meet every time so that's a bit off category but this time it's a one time unlock and you're going to be able to keep taming them taming them so to be able to tame several beasts i'm going to talk about each and every one of them there are nine different taming tones for hunters the first one we are going to talk about is the tome of the hybrid beasts. The second one I will talk about is the blood soaked tome of dark whispers. The third one is the ancient tome of dinomancy. The fourth one is how to school your serpent. The fifth one is simple tome of tome binding, bone binding. The fifth one is mecha bound imprint matrix the sixth one is gargon training manual the seventh one is otok taming and the last one is how to train a dragonkin so all these tomes can be obtained and i'm going to explain you for every single tome what to do for them and how to obtain them some are really easy some are I'm not going to say really hard, but will require you some time or do some questing before you can actually reach the tome or the binding or whatever you want to call them before you can actually going to have to do them. And I'm going to tell you as well what type of animal you will be able to tame with each of these items. So with no further ado, we're going to step into the actual guides and I'm going to explain you how every single tome works and what you need for it. So the very first one we are going to talk about is Tome of the Hybrid Beast. Tome of the Hybrid Beast is sold by Pan the Kind Hand, as you can see here, in True Shot Lodge for 1000 order resources. <coughs> True Shot Lodge is your order class hall for hunters in Legion. The location is here. You will go to the Broken Isles, High Mountain, and this here is where True Shot Lodge is located. This is a hunter zone only and it's only reachable by hunters. You need to have completed your class hall order campaign in order to buy this. Your hunter alts can buy it without having to do the without having to redo the campaign. This is a one-time unlock and you're going to have it on all your hunters if you have multiple, so you don't have to redo it. So, ban the kind hand, true shot lodge, and you need to have 1000 order resources. So the first one can require some questing because you have to complete your class hole and that can take you some time to do. If you want to do it, that is completely up to you. So. The next one we are going to talk about is the blood soaked tome of dark whispers. This will allow you to tame blood beasts. This tome drops from Zul in the Uldir raid. It's the third boss in the second wing. On either normal, heroic or mythical mythic difficulty. Yes, really important to know here that it cannot be done on LFR. You, yeah, it unlocks the taming ability for your under hunters as well on your account. So this is really simple, guys. Go to Uldir on either normal, heroic, or mythic difficulty, kill Zul, and you will have this ability. So this has been confirmed as well on Wohet. It's a 100% drop chance if you do it in the right difficulty. If you do it on LFR, it will not drop in LFR. It has been confirmed. I did my research on Wohet and people confirmed it. And then you're going to be able to tame blood beasts. 
So the next one we are going to talk about is the ancient tome of dynomancy. The ancient tome of dynam dynomancy drops from the Zandalari dynomancers on the Isle of Giants. This is not account wide, you will have to farm it again if you want it on your other hunter alts. Zandalari trolls, on the other hand, do not need this tome to tame Direhorn, so if you have a Zandalari troll, you will be able to do this out of the box, because they are Zandalari and they are trolls. Where is the Isle of Giants located? On Mist of Pandaria content. Over here. Everybody knows this farm. This is the Isle of Giants where everybody farms the giant dinosaur bones to sell on the auction house or for the pets or for the mount even. And they drop from the Zandalari Dynamancers. This is all. So we're gonna have to kill a few. The drop chance is pretty okay. It will not take you too long to get this one. But on this one RNG steps in. So it will not take you hours and hours but it can take you some time not too much but it can take you some time so this one is pretty straightforward nothing to it so the next one is how to school your serpent this one will allow you to tame cloud serpents and this applies to all hunters on this account this one is sold by san red scale to players that are exalted with the Order of the Cloud Serpent. The tome can be used by any classes with the reputation and will unlock the taming ability for your other hunters as well. And that's all there is to this one. All you have to do is becoming exalted with the Order of the Cloud Serpent. That will can take you some time, but the good thing is if the Mist of Pandaria time walking event is up, this is a, a small mini guide I'm going to give you inside this guide. If time walking event from Mist and Pandaria is up, you can use your uh, time warp badges or time walking badges to buy the reputation. And it can be exalted in less than one minute with these. And then you can go to San Red Scale. This is the location here. And then you're going to be able to buy it from him. The next one we are going to talk about is the simple tome of bone binding. The simple tome of bone binding is a world drop obtainable from elites in Maldraxxus, Maldraxxus and Plaguefall. It unlocks the taming ability for your other hunters on your account as well. Undead hunters do not need this tome to tame undead beasts because they are already undead themselves. So. The simple tome, and this is the most sought after one because they have the most cool um, pets in combination, of course, with the mechas we're going to talk about later. But this is really simple. You will go to Maldraxxus, kill the elites you find over there. There are several spots where you can find elites. Just fly over the zone and you're going to find them most definitely. And the drop chance on this is mediocre, so it can take you quite some time. To get this until it drops but it will drop because i have all of them myself and i know which ones will take longer or not but this one is really simple it's a simple tome as well go to maldraxxus and kill the elites and you're gonna eventually get it as a drop learn it and all your hunters can do it so the next one we are going to talk about is the mecha bound imprint matrix the mecha bound matrix was crafted <coughs> by engineers with the schematic mecha bound imprint matrix which is sold by xurlos for one curious coin the schematic is bop so bind on pickup but the tome can be bought and sold at the auction house it doesn't unlock account white for your hunter alts so this is not an, ac an account white unlock gnomes Goblins and mecha gnome hunters do not need this tome to tame mecha mechanical beasts. So I'm going to show you the price on my auction house here really fast. The price, we're going to type in just mega bond. There it is, 15k. So check your auction house and if you can live with the price, buy it from the auction house and you will be done in less than a minute. If you want to have it crafted by a, an engineer, you're going to need the schematic. 
that is sold by Xerlos for one curious coin. I'm not going too deep into this because I'm pretty sure that most of the people will just buy it from the auction house because it's not highly expensive. 15k is pretty affordable by most players nowadays in world of Warcraft. So this one, as you can see, is one of the easier ones to get and mechanical pets are pretty cool to have. The next one is Gargan Training Manual. This one drops from a rare called Huntmaster Petrus in Revendreth, Shadowlands as well. It unlocks the taming ability for your other hunters as well on your account. So this is only one time you're gonna have to do it. The drop chance from Huntmaster Petrus is 15% confirmed on Woehead for this item. So you're gonna have to do them most likely a few times if RNG is not on your side. But other than that, just kill him until you get it. And there is nothing more to it. This is the location for Huntmaster Petrus in a Revendreth. Happy hunting. The next one is Otuk Taming. Otuk Taming is required from the quests called While the Iron is Hot. The quest line can be started when you reach renown 11 with the Iskara Tuskar Dragonflight content, it unlocks the abilities to tame Otuks and it's account wide, so all your hunters will be able to do it. So, quick summary here reach 11 renown with the Iskara Tuskar. Most people will have that already because we're at the end of the expansion. And then you're going to be able to start a quest called While the Iron is hot and that quest will basically start in the waking shores here this is the map where the quest will start and it's a quest line of about um, 12, 13 quests you're gonna have to do it's a storyline you're gonna have to follow and while the iron is hot is the last quest you're gonna do and it is basically 13 quests so it can take you let us say a half an hour to unlock it but once you have it it's a uh, account wide unlock and you only have to do it once and most likely you're already gonna have done that if you're a completionist or not so the last one we're going to talk about is how to train a dragonkin how can you obtain how to train a dragonkin it can be obtained from Castras after reaching renown 23 with the Voldraken Accord. The location of Castras is here. It has to be done on the hunter you want it on <clears throat> that has the reputation already. Yes? And it cannot be obtained by another class, so you will not be able to buy it on another class um, even if you have the renown. Yes? It's unknown at the moment on Wohet. I did some research as well on this one. It's unknown if it's unlocked the abilities to tame Dragonkind on your other hunters. So I only have one hunter myself. So you're going to have to test it yourself if you want to do it before. You're actually going to have to farm that reputation again all over to get it. But the only thing you need is Renown 23 on this one. And there you go, guys. With this guide that is a bit longer and a bit out of my comfort zone, because this required me a lot of research and a lot of extra editing. Well, editing, uh, a lot of work to find everything. I hope you liked it, because my previous guide was pretty successful when it came to that pet. So I'm trying to cover them all in one video instead of making nine separate videos of every single pet. I hope you liked it and I'm going to see you in my next stream or in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Toodaloo. Arrivederci. And have fun in game and happy hunting on the pets.